What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna look at lists in Dart. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at lists in Dart. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at lists in Dart. And there are a couple of different types of lists in Dart. There's fixed length and there's growable. We're not gonna talk about fixed length in this video or probably any video, because I think that's stupid. We're gonna look at growable lists, meaning you can add things and remove things and grow them and shrink them as you want. And of course, a list in Dart is just an array. That's what Dart calls them, sort of like Python. And they're just a list of items. So. Let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Dart series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file called list.dart. It's just our basic Dart starter code that we've always got. And I've got a few things here that we're gonna kind of fill out as we go along. So like I said, we're just gonna look at growable lists, lists that can be changed and added to and things like that in this video. So let's create a list we call var and then just name it. I'm gonna call this my list. And then we just set this equal to whatever we want. So we can say one, two, three, whatever, right? Now we can print my list. And this will just print out the actual list. If we want to print out a specific item from our list, we could, you know, my list, and then use our notation like this. If we want to print out the first item, that's zero. List and arrays always start at zero. So this is the zeroth item, oneth item, and then twoth item, right? So zero, one, two. And that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this, head over to our terminal. I'm in my C Dart stuff directory and let's run Dart list.dart. And we can see it just prints out the actual list and then the zeroth item, which is one, right? Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward as you would expect. So let's say we wanna change one of these items. We wanna change this one to 41. Well, super easy. We just call my list, pass in the item we wanna change. We wanna change the zeroth item we can change that to 41. Now we can come up here and print our list again to make sure that that actually happened. Run this guy and we can see it used to be one, now it's 41. Pretty simple. We can also create an empty list. So let's go var empty list and set that equal to nothing. We can print this guy out if we want. When we do, head back over here, run this guy again, we can see we've got an empty list. So, all right, that's cool. One of the nice things about growable lists, we can start with an empty one and then we can add stuff to it later on, right? So if we wanna add something to our empty list, we could just call empty list and then we use the dot add function and then let's just add something, the number 41, right? So if we wanna print this guy again, come back over here, we can see it had nothing in it, now it has 41 in it, pretty cool. That's how to add one thing to a list. What if we want to add multiple things, right? You think, well, can I just do something like this? No, you can't, not quite. What we're going to want to do here is use the add all function. So we call our empty list dot add all. Notice the second A here in all is capitalized. And then inside of here, we're going to pass in a bracketed list. So we can go one, two, three. So this will start out with 41 and then add one, two, three our semicolon there. And if we want to save this and run it, we can head back over here. And let's run this guy. We can see it started out with zero, we added one item, it's 41. Then we added a bunch of items, 41, one, two, three. And you'll notice this one, two, three, we put them in brackets when we use the add all, but when they're in the actual array, they're not sort of separated in their own bracket. They're just part of the main list, the main array. So okay, that's cool. So we added things here, but we can also add things at specific positions inside of our list. Remember lists or arrays are indexed items. So they're index numbers. So we can choose which index number to place an item if we wanna place an item. And we do that using insert. Let's come back up here to our main list, which was one, two, three. And then we change the first one to 41. Let's come down here and let's go my list dot insert. And here we pass in the position and the item. So remember our my list, there's zero, one, two. If we wanna add something to the end, that would be at position three. And we can add something like, you know, the number 900, something like that. Here we can now print my list, see if that worked. Back over here, run this guy again. And we see, sure enough, at the end, we added 900. Here's our original list. And then we changed it to this. And then we changed it finally to this, right? So 
If you, you know, want to add something in a specific spot, you can use that. You can also insert many things with insert all, sort of like we had add and add all. We also have insert and insert all. So we could go my list dot insert all. And the same thing, you add in the position you want to put it in. So if we want to put it at the one of the position, which is the second position, remember, and then inside of here, again, we just create a sort of list and we can go 99, 98, 97, I don't know, whatever. And then let's just print my list. Head back over here. Let's clear the screen around this guy. And you can see here in the one -th position, we've added 99, 98, 97. So we've got 41, 99, 98, 97, two, three, and, a, and then 900. So that's cool. And also before we go on here, let's, you can also have mixed lists. Up until now, we've just been using integers just because it's easy to do, but you can create a list with mixed data types. So you can have integers, you can have strings, you can have Booleans, you can have anything you want, right? So let's create a, a mixed list very quickly. Let's just call it mixed list. And we want to set that equal to one, two, three, and then, I don't know, John and Bob, right? So here we can print out mixed list. Save this guy, head back over here, run it again. And we see one, two, three, John and Bob. So that's cool. So moving on, we can also remove items from a list. So let's take out John, right? So that's very easy. We just go mixed list dot remove, and then just pass in whatever we want to remove. We can take out John. Now this works fine if there's only one John in here, right? So keep that in mind. So if we want to now print this guy out again, let me just kind of copy this, save this, head back over here, run this guy. We see here we have John. In here, John has been removed. Well, okay, that's great. Like I said, if there's only one John, but if there's more than one John, you need the specific location to remove, right? So we could do that using remove at. So let's go mixed list dot remove at. And here we just pass in the index number that we want to remove. So we've got the, let's say we want to take out this two. That's the zero one -th item. We just pass in the one -th item like that. We can print this guy out again onto the screen and see if two has been removed. Sure enough, one, three, and Bob, we had a two, we took it out, and now it's gone. So those are lists in Dart, pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, very easy to use, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.